on the night of the 2nd of October, 1747. The storeroom here was full of rum and tea. The Hawkehurst gang broke in and stole it all. Welcome to my channel and especially a warm welcome if you're new to my channel. Over 95% of the people who watch my channel are not subscribed so if that's you then hit that subscribe button and follow my travels around Europe. Today I'm here in Poole. I'm going to take a walk along Poole Harbour. It's such a lovely day today and uh, I'm going to see what we can discover. I'm sure there's something of interest down here there's a lot of people milling around and where there's people, there's things to look at. Come with me. Paul Lifeboat Museum. It tells the story of, of the lifeboat in Paul from 1865 all the way up to the present day. Housed in the museum is one very special lady because she's a lifeboat and she was commissioned in 1939 and served the town of Paul until she was retired in 1962. She's been preserved in the museum not because of the fact that she's a surf class um, lifeboat but, but, for the, but for the fact that she took part in the Dunkirk evacuation between 26th of May and the 4th of June 1940. She was just one of hundreds of little ships that requisitioned by the Royal Navy to rescue the British Army and the remnants of the French and Belgium Army from the beaches of Dunkirk. She was the first lifeboat to reach Dunkirk on the 30th of May 1940. The larger ships were unable to reach the beach so it was down to these small craft to take them off the beach and ferry them home or ferry them to the larger ships anchored out in the waters. If it wasn't for those brave crews and all those little ships Britain would have lost the war early in 1940. to discover that um, lifeboat back in the museum. I did these, do some um, research before I came down to Paul. Uh, she's called the Thomas Kirk Wright, but I can't find out why she was called the Thomas Kirk Wright. It must be named after a person, but if you happen to know who that person is, then please leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know. Let me know. I'd be very interested in finding out. I do find it interesting researching these little boats that went across to Dunkirk. And they're hidden all over the country in plain sight, in our river estuaries and in harbours. And they all have a story to tell, and it's the human story behind them, of their skippers and their crew, that really is interesting for me personally. Just 
just walked past a statue of Robert Baden Powell or Robert Stevenson Smythe Baden Powell to give him his full name. He was born in London, Paddington, in uh, 1857 and died in Kenya in 1941. He's famous, of course, for uh, founding the Scout Movement. Um, but there's a nice uh, statue of him here. I'm not quite sure why he was... Um, why his statue is actually here in Paul. As far as I'm aware, he didn't live in Paul. Uh, so I'm wondering what his connection is. If you happen to know the answer to that, then please leave a comment in the comment section below and be sure to let me know. very large ocean-going uh, cargo vessels moored up along the quayside, along with quite a number of very impressive super yachts, and there should be because Paul is also the home of Sunseeker, and they make the most beautiful, the most fabulous um, luxury yachts that uh, that money can buy. I've been very fortunate in the, in the past to um, to go aboard a few, and. Uh, Wow, I wouldn't mind one of those, I really wouldn't, they're absolutely incredible, but uh, we can all dream, can't we? The building behind me is the old customs house here in Paul Harbour. It was constructed in 1747, the same year that notorious Hawkehurst gang committed a burglary here. In the storeroom here was a large quantity of tea and rum, and the Hawkehurst gang made off with it. The customs officials weren't happy, and they put up a reward of £500 for the arrest of the <coughs> gang leaders. £500 in 1747 was an awful lot of money, it's around £110,000 in today's value. Hawkehurst gang were eventually captured and their leaders, Arthur Gray and uh, Thomas Kingsmill, were hung at Tyburn, Gray in 1748 and Kingsmill the following year. Let's take a final look around and see what else we can find here in Paul. I've had a really enjoyable time walking around the harbour area here in Paul and I'm finishing my walk outside the Church of St James. The church was established here in 1142, although the current building dates from 1819. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, give it a thumbs up, give it a like and be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. There's plenty more journeys to come, plenty more little adventures and I hope you can come along with me. Thanks for watching.